Hey guys, good morning. It's Miss Weber here. I am coming to you from our new homeschool setup, uh, trying to make the best of this new normal that we're dealing with. Um, I've been having a lot of kind of heavy thoughts. I've been having some sad days and just feeling like there's not really much that feels normal or that feels right. And I thought about, hey, I'm an adult and you guys probably feel a lot like I do. And I know a lot of my students have sent messages saying that they're very bored or they're very scared or they're just feeling sad because they're not experiencing life the way that they're used to. And I started thinking about it. For me, I get a lot of my confidence and a lot of my joy from my job in the classroom. And a lot of you students get a lot of your confidence from your grades, from competing on sports teams, from doing karate, or some of the things that you do outside of school, and all of those things aren't happening right now. So I'm sure you're feeling a lot like I'm feeling. And um, I've been trying to make the most of my new normal. Um, today, Vivian had art class, and she did my makeup as a part of her art class, which is why I look so fantastic this morning. But um, I kinda wanted to remind you guys of a couple of things, and I thought that I found the best book to do that. So this book was actually given to Vivian by her Aunt Candy. And her Aunt Candy said that when she read it, she immediately thought of Vivian. And so we have this book here at our house. It's a favorite of ours and the message inside of it is perfect. Um, it's written for a girl, but I think that the message applies to boys and girls and adults and kids. So I wanted to read this book to you. It's called The Nuff. And it's actually written by an author, Veronica Waldrop, who's from Louisiana. And she recently passed away from cancer, but this was her gift to her daughters before she passed away. And it's illustrated by Kat Elliott, and Kat Elliott is an LSU tiger like me. So I wanted to share this with you. Come here, my dears, and listen near. I have a tale for you of a magical being with eyes that shine and a smile that could light up the room. I met this child when she was so small, but instantly I knew I was made for her and she was made for me. My love, that child is you. When you arrived in this world, the doctor smiled and said in a voice so gruff, well, look what I spy with my little eye. This baby is enough. Now, what is enough? you may ask yourself. So I'm here to fully explain that Enough is a powerful and beautiful girl with a sh powerful heart and brain. She may not look like the doll in the box or the girl in the magazine, but she shines like the sun with her hair undone like a grass-stained summer queen. Enough doesn't always wear a dress or a crown upon her head. Her hair is sometimes wild and unruly in a pony or piggies instead. Sometimes she has holes in the knees of her jeans. Sometimes she rolls on wheels. Sometimes enough gets dirty wearing sneakers, not high heels. Her mind is like a busy beehive, building dreams and super notions. Listen to me, my lovely queen bee. Your soul is as deep as the ocean. Your heart is like a burning flame that keeps me warm at night. When you're kind and strong, you can't go wrong, even if you're not always right. I'm gonna read that one again, because it's really important. When you're kind, and strong, you can't go wrong, even if you're not always right. Grace is amazing, perfection is not. Have faith in who you are, just be you, and love will shine through like a brilliant, sparkling star. Jumping in the mud or splashing in the bath, my purest joy is hearing you laugh. So give me a giggle, sing a song, spin and twirl. Nothing fills my heart like my Nuffy Nuff girl. When we first met and I saw your smile, I figured out what's true. I looked in the mirror, things became clearer. See, I'm enough, 
just like you. And if you miss the winning goal or your voice sounds just off key, know you are my treasure. You are enough for me. When the world says you can't and you should just give up and your path seems rocky and rough, know you are brave and beautiful. You will always be enough. This is a picture of the author, Veronica, and her children. And I think that this is a beautiful testament to the message that she wanted to leave for her children. And I'm grateful that she shared it with us in the form of a book so that we could listen to her message too. So if you're one of my students, I'm gonna challenge you like I always do. So my challenge from this book today, if for some reason you're feeling like you're not enough, I want you to remember some of the words that this author gave us. I want you to sing a song. I want you to laugh. I want you to jump in mud puddles. I want you to do the things that make you smile and make you find joy and remind you of just who you are and that will remind you that you're enough. They talked a lot about being kind and being strong. And I think right now we could do lots of things that will bring kindness to others. We can make cards for those that are fighting in hospitals. We can make cards for the people at grocery stores. And if our parents go out to get groceries, they can deliver them personally. I think it's really important to remember the heroes that are going on right now in this crazy world. And there are a lot of them. So if you're looking for something to do that will fill your heart and make you feel like you are enough, remember to do something kind for someone else today and laugh. That is to me, the best thing that you can be doing right now at home. So I miss you. You know, I love you all. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be on car rider duty again. And I can't wait to have all the fun that we have at school. And right now, while we're not at school, we just have to try to find ways to have that much fun. So I will see you soon, hopefully with another book. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Have a fabulous day, guys.